In this problem, we're told, for a flourish at the end of her act, a juggler tosses a single ball high into the air. She catches the ball 3.2 seconds later at the same height from which it was thrown. What was the initial speed of the ball? Right, so what we have going on, right, we have this juggler, they're going to throw a ball up, and then it's going to travel all the way back down, and t equals 3.2 seconds. All right, so what we're trying to do is find the initial velocity, right, of the speed uh, going upwards, right? So we can just say v sub 0 equals question mark. So the first thing I want to do is just write down the given. So what information are we given throughout this interval? So we know the time this is going to take. And so the way we're going to solve this is by splitting this into a different interval. So I'm going to take uh, the interval that I'm going to use for this kinematic is from the beginning all the way to the tip. And the reason we're going to do that is because we know uh, more stuff about that than the whole interval. So you'll see why. So what do we know about things that are traveling straight up in the air like this? We know their acceleration right, is minus 9.8 meters per second squared, right? Because the thing's going to be in free fall. Right? It's just going to be, uh, the acceleration is going to be minus 9.8 meters per second squared because they're just going to throw it at a constant speed. Or not constant, sorry. It's going to be, or the acceleration is going to be minus 9.8 meters per second squared, right? The acceleration due to gravity. So we know that. What else do we know? So we know the time it's going to take to get to the top is going to be 1.6 seconds. And how do we know that? So the reason we know this is because the time, right? So they tell us the time it goes up and down. Basically, the time it takes to go up to the top is going to be half. So Something about objects when they travel this way is that it takes basically half the amount of time to go up, right, and then half the amount of time to go down. So if you know the entire time, you just cut it in half, and that's how long it takes to reach its maximum point, right? That's just something you have to know about objects when they travel this way. What else do we know? We know the final velocity, right, because keep in mind I said the interval from here to here. The final velocity at the tip is zero, and the reason that is is because when something's at its tip or at its, at its max height, right, because this is its max height, its velocity is zero. It's not moving. So v equals 0 meters per second at that point, right? And so notice we have three variables now. So what we can do is go ahead and solve for the initial velocity of this interval, right? We have the final velocity, which is here. We have the acceleration, and we have the time it takes to get there. So we can solve, right? So we're going to use one of the kinematic equations. Uh, the one, notice, uh, we don't have uh, the distance, right? So we can't use any of these, but we're going to be using the first one. So v equals v sub 0 plus a times t. So what we're going to be using, right, we can just plug in v is 0 equals v sub 0, which is what we're solving for, plus the acceleration. Right? So it's plus a negative, so it's minus 9.8 times t, which is 1.6. And notice this is negative, and the reason acceleration is negative is because it's uh, downwards, right? It's slowing down because of gravity, right? Gravity slows it down, so yeah. Uh, and then what we can do is if we're solving for v sub 0, add this to their side, right? So essentially, the initial velocity is just going to be equal to the force of gravity, or the acceleration due to gravity times the time. So 9.8 times 9.8 times 1.6. And when you do that, you'll get v sub 0 equals 15.68. And so the units for velocity is meters per second. So the initial velocity that she throws it at, the upward speed of the ball is going to be 15.68 meters per second. You can round to 15.7 if you'd like. But yeah, so this is going to be the initial velocity. And yeah, hopefully you found this useful.